Hello everyone, my name is Tech Weasel, and today I'll be showing you how to make actual spells for our magic system that we made in the last video. By the end of this video, you should be able to make spawnable objects using keys that absorb magic power that you need to spend on them. You should also be able to make some more complicated spells, like say, a beacon? Or even more complicated ones once you get there. Let's get straight to it. Okay, so now that you have your charging script and your screen GUI, we're going to need to make a spell. As you can see, I already have a lot of them. I have a heal spell, the one that spawns the blocks that I first just showed off, a beacon script, rock blocks, which you can kind of use to Step, stepping stones that will fly through the air, a shield that makes a force field, a cloud, and a rock pillar, all of which have different uses. Let's start with this basic summon script. Here it is. It may look complicated, but if we look at how really, its core, the thing that's taking up the most space, is this. And this along with all its many ends, is the same thing we made for our charge script. So really, you can just duplicate this and cut out everything, including this if. Remember, there should only be three ends. You can cut out all of that. Let's uh, not actually do that, though. This is my summon script. And you can put it in here. Okay. So, first thing we're going to need to write is an if. So, we already have all these ifs, but now we need to check if you have enough money. So, we're going to go through all these script.parent.parent.playerGUI.screenGUI. That's the name of this dot magic energy name of this dot value and in here you're going to want to write the price if you want we can create a local price equals 10 and then right here we can write price and when we get to the part where we take away money we can also write price Local new clone. We're going to create this variable, which is a game.workspace.blob clone. So you're probably confused at what that blob is. That blob is this. Basically, just create a cube. Make sure it's anchored, or else it'll just fall or go through the ground. Depends on the other things. And I'm going to turn off Can Collide. Then we just, uh, get rid of that. <laughs> Ignore computer error messages. And we're all good. So it's going to clone whatever the name of your part is. And then this new clone's parent, we're going to make the workspace. Lowercase w. Using an uppercase can be used in other cases, but in this one we want the lowercase. New clone dot position, so where it is, is going to be the script dot parent dot parent, that's the player, dot character, so that's like our physical avatar, dot humanoid root part, that's an invisible part in the center of every player that kind of gives off a good position of like their middle, dot position. So then we just need to go through the same thing as this, but here. And that will get us this, and then we're just going to minus it by 10, or price. So that, now we're taking away the price, and we're going to change the text. So script.parent.playerGUI.screenGUI, again, that's whatever you name this, dot frame, whatever you name this, dot value, with a lowercase v, that's whatever you name this dot text equals this thing. 
So, right, we're gonna display it. Then we wait five seconds, and we destroy the clone. So you've got it. You just created your working spell. How, how do you feel? You should be very proud of yourself, because you should now, using whatever key you have assigned, it might still be shift, so let's hope it's not the same as your charge. But if it is, oh well. If it's not, then uh... You can do this. And if it's the same as your charge, just go and change it. And yes, if you have a really high MP value, you can basically just become the old snake game. Okay, this is really fun to look at. And then it disappears. Woo. Okay, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's free and supports the channel a whole ton. And um, using variations, you can make other things. You can create this beacon by uh, basically just cloning a beacon. And of course, you have to do a little playing around with the enabled and enabled, all that. Um, but you should be able to get some pretty promising end results. So thank you all for watching. My name is Tech Weasel. And goodbye.